Hello friends, welcome back to the last video on the Elasticsearch engine. In this video, I will show you a Python Flask application and we will create APIs to communicate with our Elasticsearch engine. In order to follow this tutorial, I will assume that you know some basic Python Flask. Also, in this tutorial, I'm not going to write the code from the scratch. Rather, I will show you the code I have already written and I will make sure that you understand the code step by step. So let me open this into my Visual Studio code. Before you run the code, we need to create a virtual environment. So I will create a virtual environment here with the command python3 hyphen m v e n v and name of my virtual environment that is elastic search u tube. And I'll hit enter it will create a new environment so the environment is now created let me CD back into this terminal and I will write source v env let me just first make sure it is there okay uh source elastic search youtube then bin and then activate so now i'm inside my virtual environment here i will install flask and elastic search and I'll use uh, version 7.17.0. I'll hit enter. The package we installed, Elasticsearch, you can read more about that on Python Elasticsearch um, client. Yeah, so this is the one. You can read more about it here and more about the interface, how to use and the connection layer APIs and everything. Okay, so it has installed all the required packages. Now, the first file I have is a config file which includes the name of the index and the host name for the index. So our index name is recipe search the next thing is es.py now this file let me just change my environment to uh, the name of the environment is let me refresh this this is just to remove the warnings that the module is not found so this is es.py under es.py we have a class eskn and it has three methods create index search index and insert index i think that should be create index search document and insert document now create index calls the package es and there is a indices create method it will call that method and it will check for errors in the result the next search document this search document will require query and field name that you want to search and it will create the query we have seen here okay 
then there is insert document it will take a document and it will create a row so you can insert number of documents at one go and it will call the helper of Elasticsearch and insert the document into the engine there is a main python file uh, we don't need this model it was some other work let me delete that so we have a main dot pi file which first calls the elastic search a knn class and creates the instance of that and with that instance it creates the index when you run the file for the first time now there are three methods this is the home route this is uh, insert document route and this is search document route i have not written anything here we will write it now so let's say insert document so let's say the data will be flask dot request dot json okay let me just print this so let me now the last file is run dot pi it has some again unwanted things but i will remove them and this was some other work actually from main import app now we can run it using python run oh we are out of some folder so let's say project code and let me run the file now i will create a new request here let's say insert document api and first let's make sure our app is running under 9090 port so let me check that 9090 so we got the response hello world from this uh, home route now let's just create that local host which is our 9090 and then the route name is uh, insert document route name is insert document and let me go to the body and then raw and then uh, json uh, let me grab one more document from the repository we are using uh, let's say divine hard boil egg let me paste this okay if i hit enter yeah we have not uh, return anything let's jsonify that is uh, return let's say status equals to 200 okay it requires parenthesis as well okay it has installed pylint as well in order to format the documentation now let me hit this 
oh it says insert document path is not found oh sorry that is an api keyword as well so let's say api oh insert did not return a valid response the function either return none or ended without a return statement okay i did not save that okay we got the status and we got the document as well so now let me let me call the es knn object of our class ESKNN and call the method insert document which requires a document so our data is our document let me save this and let me hit so we got the status 200 now let's just check the document counts uh where it was get document count i hope it will increase to one it's now four documents so we have inserted the document successfully now let's search the document um, let me close all this that we don't want insert document api and let me create another request search document api so this will be our url and the route is search document okay let's again go to body and then raw and then select json and let's say the name of the field if you recall our search query we must have the field name and the query for that field name so let's say field underscore name is equal to title and let's say query is equal to cookie okay let's run this oh we got error cause we have not done anything on the api part so let's say data equals to flask dot request dot json and first let print the data and just return uh, let's say status equals 200 let me save this let me hit this again so we got the status 200 and got the data field name and query so let's say field name equals to data field name and query equals to data query now we have api elastic search api created in this es knn to search the document so let's call this so we have object of that class ESKNN. Let's search the document. Let's say query equals to query and field name equals to field name. So let me save this. Uh, let's just, oh sorry, let's just print the result as well. Okay, let me save this. 
Now let me hit the API again. Unhassable dict. So maybe yeah, I got it. I have unnecessary parenthesis here. So let me remove that and let me save this and let's run this again. Hopefully, yeah, we got the solution. And yeah, we got the status 200. We got the result and under hits, the document is there. So let me show you here. If we go to search document and if I hit again, you'll see this is the response we got. So under hits, hits is an object, uh, sorry, hits is a list. And under that, there is an object of the document which matches with the title banana. So under result, let's say result has um, hits. Under that, we have hits. So results, hits, and under that, hits. Let me save this again and let's run this. Oh, sorry, it was not that, it's this so if we go down yeah so this is the result uh, index name and then id and score and source so under source we have all the information so this is the zero eighth element and under source we have the information let me run this again and yeah we got the title and the description and everything now you can use this information to do whatever stuff you want to do under this so I hope this helps you and this gives you some information and insights of how you can use Python flask API and connect it to uh, Elasticsearch engine uh, again the code used in this video is on my github repository and the link for that is in the description uh, see you in the next video if you like my work please subscribe to my channel and share this video peace